Good afternoon, folks. Uh, this is my response to Lawrence O'Donnell's uh, on-air apology retracts his thinly sourced uh, Trump story. So this is uh, from, I guess, uh, CNN Politics Networks, I guess. So we'll see. I'll go ahead and play it now, and I'll respond. Lawrence so O'Donnell, good evening, Lawrence. Good evening, Rachel. Thank you. Appreciate it. Last night on this show, I discussed information that wasn't ready for reporting. I repeated statements a single source told me about the president's finances and loan documents with Deutsche Bank, saying, if true, as I discussed the information, was simply not good enough. I did not go through the rigorous verification and standards process here at MSNBC before repeating what I heard from my source. Had it gone through that process, I would not have been permitted to report it. I should not have said it on air or posted it on Twitter. I was wrong to do so. This afternoon, attorneys for the president sent us a letter asserting the story is false. They also demanded a retraction. Tonight, we are retracting the story. We don't know whether the information is inaccurate, but the fact is we do know it wasn't ready for broadcast. And for that, I apologize. Tonight. Well, there you go. <laughs> Old Lawrence O'Donnell had to backtrack because on the previous night in between, uh, uh, Rachel Maddow's show and his show, he basically said that his single source was saying that the co-signers for Trump's loans for Deutsche Bank were uh, Russian oligarchs, which um, that we don't know if that's true or not, and there's no evidence to suggest that other than his single source. So we can go to the uh, the AP uh, news by David Bowder, MSNBC's. Uh, O'Donnell retracts Trump's story. Uh, it says on Wednesday he retracted a story about the Russian ties to President Trump's finances and apologized for reporting it, just as Trump's lawyer demanded it, because this is in the realm of defamation. So, and you have no proof of it other than a single source. O'Donnell said, however, he still doesn't know whether or not the story is true. No, Larry, if if I call you Larry, you want it to be true. But there is no evidence to suggest that it is true. But you so desperately want it. And when that Russia hoax story went up in flames, like a, I don't know, figure out a analogy or a euphemism for that. So he basically goes go on says his public pullback unfolded quickly in the opening minute of the last word where 24 hours earlier, the cable news host said that the one source had told him that Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank, documents showed that Russian, Russian oligarchs had co-signed a loan application for Trump. Well, if he had these documents, he should have presented them. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have them. He reported this story based on a single source and he did not identify even as he couched it with the qualifier, if true, and admitted it had not been verified by NBC News. Womp womp. <laughs> Trump's lawyer, Charles Harder, <laughs> Harder, had written to NBC Wednesday afternoon saying the story was false and defamatory and threatening legal action if not if it wasn't dis disowned. Harder said the story could have been disproven with an, in an, with an internet search. O'Donnell quickly tweeted that he made an error in judgment. <sighs> One time? I think many errors in judgment there, pal. Quote, we don't know if, whether the information is inaccurate, but that you had to retract it so you know it's inaccurate. The fact is, we don't know if it was ready for broadcast, and that, for I apologize. NBC News has not said whether or not O'Donnell faces disciplinary action. He won't. In court on Tuesday, Deutsche Bank had revealed that it possessed some of Trump's tax returns that had never been released to the public, leading to speculation about what information those documents contained. When he initially reported on the supposed co-signing of the loans on Tuesday, O'Donnell said that would explain, it seems to me, every kind of word that Donald Trump has ever said about Russia and Vladimir Putin. Putin, if true, and I stress, if true, part of this. Psh, douche. The episode exhibited a stunning lack of rigor for a news organization and in, in, in a later in a letter to Susan Weiner, Weiner, whatever, NBC Universal General Counsel, and Daniel Coomer, the company's senior vice president for litigation, Harder called O'Donnell's statements false and defamatory and extremely damaging. Harder said that Trump was the only guarantee guarantee 
guarantor, guarantor yeah, of the loans in question. While it provided ammunition for Trump's frequent attacks on the media, the story had not been addressed on the president's Twitter account Wednesday evening. The episode is a blow to MSNBC, which has built powerful ratings with a primetime lineup of liberal commentators such as Chris Hayes, Rachel Madcow Maddow, and Lawrence O'Donnell, and is comfortable home to Trump opponents. Many nights, it has the second most watched cable news network behind only Fox News Channel, whose lineup of conservative hosts appeals to the president's supporters. That uh, last paragraph I just read is 100% correct. But it also shows the inherent tensions in the business model of building programming on news networks that are not necessarily run by journalists. O'Donnell has been hosting The Last Word since 2010 and has been on the, an embassy analyst since 1996. The Harvard College graduate, oh God, was an aide to the late New York Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan and executive producer of the NBC new entertainment series The West Wing. So what can we learn from this? Or maybe for what can Lawrence, or Larry if I may call you that, can learn from this? If you have a thin, single source about Russian, I guess, interference or Russian uh, collusion or signing a, co a co-signer to some loans that maybe possibly, if true, that Donald Trump signed on to through Deutsche Bank, and you only have someone's word or hearsay, if you will, probably should keep it to yourself until you find some frickin' documents. I mean, that seems like the smart thing to do. Wouldn't you agree, Larry? I certainly, certainly do agree with that as my, because I brought it up myself. Why wouldn't I agree with it? But this is just the typical and standard far left wing media, MSNBC, a bullcrap. They tried to peddle some bullshit, and it didn't have the correct, um, didn't go through the correct process of editorial, editorializing it, making sure you have all your ducks in the row, make sure that the evidence backs up what the claims of this person is. But again, probably ratings shot up, and immediately the uh, lawyers came out and made him retract the story. If true, apparently. So there's that. So Larry, if I might call you Larry, wise the frick up, man. Wise up. And do that little thing that uh, you're supposed to do called, oh, I don't know, responsible reporting. Yeah, might want to try that for once in your life, douchebag.